Now, multiplying negative numbers, <laughs> let's look at some situations. Well, let's look at multiplying positives first. We know positive times a positive equals positive. This is parentheses touching parentheses. When you see that, it means multiplication. So, obviously, if we have, for example, three $10 bills, positive 3 times positive 10 is equal to positive 30 right that's thirty dollars if you have a fifty dollar note that's a positive two of these two fifties would make one hundred dollars and we're all clear on that how about this situation you have a ten dollar bill that's a positive okay let's say you have three ten dollar bills that's three times 10. Now, that's $30. Now, let's say we subtract three $10 bills. What would that look like? It would look like this, negative three times 10. Subtraction and negative are the same thing theoretically. So, to subtract three $10 bills is just like doing this, negative three multiplied by positive 10. And the answer is subtract 30 or negative 30. It's the same thing, theoretically. Okay? So, if you had um, a $20 bill, that's 20. If you had two of these, that's $40. If you subtract two $20 bills, that's like subtracting $40. And theoretically, what we have is a negative 2 times a positive 20 is a negative 40. So, here's... Um, two paychecks of $1,500 each. If they are cancelled, cancel two paychecks, that's like a negative two times a positive 1500 and that's can't subtract $3,000, okay? So negative times positive is negative, and we're all usually okay with that. How about this one? Positive times negative gives a negative, and why is that? Well, you could have a parking ticket for $60. That's a negative. That's a real negative thing. A parking ticket for $60. Okay, so let's write that down. That's our negative 60. Okay. Now, if you had two of these, you could write this. Two times negative 60. Two parking tickets of $60 each. What's that the same as? That's like having negative $120, isn't it? It's being in debt by $120. You could have a rent bill for $400. Okay. What would three rent bills of $400 be equal to? So negative 400 is your rent bill of $400. It's, an, it's a real thing that you can hold in your hand, and three of them would be the equivalent of negative $1,200, right? A DSL bill for uh, $20. Four of these DSL bills added up together would be negative 80, and we're all clear on that, right? Positive times negative is negative. Now, the one we've all been waiting for, a negative times a negative is actually equal to positive. So we can remember that, but we in this class we need to understand why that is. Let's go back to our parking ticket of $60. Here's two parking tickets of $60, two negative 60s. That's definitely negative 120. What happens though? If I cancel two parking tickets, so there's two parking tickets of negative 60. If I cancel those, that negative there means take away. Take away two parking tickets of $60 each. Well, wouldn't you be happy about that? How happy would you be? Would you be about $120 happy? That makes sense, doesn't it? If you take away two parking tickets of 60, it's just like giving 120. It's a positive 120. Here's our DSL bill of $20. Here's um, four DSL bills of 
Okay, now we've got four bills. That doesn't make us happy. We've got negative $80. But if we cancel four DSL bills, take away four DSL bills, how happy are we now? The only way you can take away bills is by giving money. It's the same thing, isn't it? It's like giving $80. So negative 4 times negative 20 is positive 80. Here's your rent bill of $450. Your rent costs $450. There's a bill. Here's two of those bills. Now that's like negative 900, isn't it? Your uncle comes to town. He takes the bills away from you. He says, I'll take them. So he subtracts the bills from you. He cancels them, takes them away, and so he has them now. That's like giving you $900, isn't it? To take away a bill is a good thing, and it makes you feel good, and it's, that's why a negative times a negative is a positive. That's one way of looking at it. Here's your DSL bill of $20. Three of those DSL bills is like a negative $60, isn't it? Okay, your friend comes to town and says, I'll pay those, I've got a good job. I'm going to take away your three DSL bills for you. To cancel three negatives is like multiplying a negative three times negative 20. Your friend is giving you 60 dollars. So cancelling bills is like multiplying a negative times a negative and that gives a positive. If we have a look at a business, a retail business that sells products, they have sales and they have bills that they need to pay. What happens when they receive sales? Well, a sale to, if, if you own a retail business, a sale is a good thing. So you might make a sale of $200. You sold a chair for $200, okay? If you sell four chairs for $200 each, that's like receiving, you know, sales. So re you're receiving sales, you're making sales, and that is like receiving $800, isn't it? Okay, if, if um, you're selling a uh, webcam for $50, okay, so there's a sale, of a sale of a webcam is worth $50 to you, it's a good thing. If you sell three webcams, you receive, receive is like adding, addition, you receive three sales of $50, that's like receiving $150. So receive sales makes you feel good. It's like receiving sales is like multiplying a positive times a positive. Positive for receiving. Sale is a positive when you're the one that owns the business and that makes you feel happy. That's a positive, okay? You feel happy. When you receive bills, how do you feel? Well, let's say you have an electricity bill of $300, okay? And let's say you... you you're overdue and you've got two of these electricity bills. So let's say you receive, you add to yourself two bills of $300. Does it make you feel happy or make you feel sad? Let's think about that first. Well, makes you feel sad, doesn't it? How sad? About $600 because you've got to pay $600. It's negative $600. Here's a water bill of $40. Let's say you're overdue by um, three months. So you receive three water bills of $40 each. How does that make you feel? Happy or sad? Again, you make you feel sad, doesn't it? And receiving bills is reducing your um, amount of money so you're reduced by 120 positive times negative is negative okay so receiving sales is good receiving bills is bad how about if we cancel sales okay so let's say we made two sales of seventy dollars each so we sold 
two shirts for seventy dollars that's good that's hundred and forty dollars but if we cancel two sales of seventy dollars that's like doing this subtract because cancel is like uh, taking away so if you take away two sales of seventy that's like a negative times a positive gives a negative 140 right here's three sales of a product for a hundred dollars so that makes it feel happy that's 300 but if these three sales are cancelled that's like taking away the three sales and that's like taking away three hundred dollars right so cancel is take away its negative and sales is positive it's a good thing for your business but to cancel a sale is a bad thing you lose money so this makes you feel sad. By the way, receive bills to receive is like adding and a bill is a negative. So adding negatives is negative makes you feel sad, right? Cancelled bills, how about that? Okay, here's a, um, a bank um, bill of uh, $50. And here's two of them. Two bills of fifty dollars, and that's like negative a hundred, and that's not a good thing. But if you cancel two of these bills to the bank, oh, that's good. We got two bills cancelled, so we actually received a hundred dollars. It's the same thing, isn't it? Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, here's um, your uh, monthly uh, loan of uh, $300 okay that's your monthly loan that you have to pay back and let's say five months of the loan was cancelled because it was an error or because somebody else paid it but if you cancel five of these monthly loan monthly checks cancel five month five debts of 300 that's like giving 1500 isn't it so when you've got a business and you cancel something, it's like taking it away, and a bill is a negative. When you take away a negative, that's like giving you money, and it makes you feel happy, right? Okay, now let's have a look at graphing when we're multiplying by negatives. So let's have a look at this. If we had an input output table x is input y is the output the output is negative 3 times the input if our input was 3 the output would be negative 3 times 3 negative times positive negative so negative 9 input 2 output negative 3 times 2 negative 6 input 1 negative 3 times 1 and so on input 0 negative 3 times 0 input negative 1 negative 3 times negative 1 and so on right so that's how we figure out these input output tables. Um, negative 3 times 1, negative 3, negative 3 times 0. What's that? So fill in the answers for these. Press pause in the bottom left and fill in the answers for these. Anything times 0 is 0. Negative times negative, positive 3. Negative times negative, positive 6. Negative times negative, positive 9. Now if we plot those, 1, 2, 3, x is 3, y is negative 9, that's down there, x is 2, y is negative 6, is there, x is 1, y is negative 3, and then we got 0, 0, negative 1, positive 3, negative 2, positive 6, negative 3, positive 9, and we can draw a straight line through that, and just need to get a ruler, here we go. And don't be afraid to label your graph. The output is negative 3 times the input. Good deal. Let's uh, have a look at multiplying negative fractions. So we'll start off with uh, negative 2 thirds times positive 4 fifths. 
Well, negative times positive. Do the sign first. Negative times positive, negative. Notice how the negative sign is in line with the fraction bar. That's how it should be. Negative sign in line with the fraction bar. So it's negative, and we've got 2 times 4, 8, over 3 times 5, 15, right? Now, how about this? 3 times negative 1 third. That's a whole number times a fraction. This becomes a lot easier when we turn the whole number also into a fraction. So turn 3 into 3 over 1. Now, do the sign first. Positive times negative, negative. 3 times 1, 3. 1 times 3 is 3. And 3 over 3 is 1, so that's negative 1, isn't it? Or we could have done this. 3 to 3 goes once, 3 to 3 goes once, and we get negative 1 over 1, which is 1, or negative 1. Let's have a look at this one. Negative 5 times negative 2 fifths. Again, we've got a whole number times a fraction. Let's turn that uh, whole number into a fraction also. Actually, it's an integer. Always do the sign first. Negative times negative. What does that give? Negative times negative, positive. Now look at this. 5 and 5 goes once. 5 and 5 goes once. 1 times 2 is 2 over 1 times 1 is 1. Positive 2 over 1 is positive 2. So you do this one. A quarter times negative 4. Again, turn that into 4 over 1. Positive times negative is negative. These 4s can cross cancel. They leave 1s. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 1 over 1 gives negative 1. And so, you know, do these ones out. Negative times negative. So press pause and see if you can figure, the, figure these out. Negative times negative, positive. 5 to 5 goes once. 5 to that goes 5 times. 3 to 3 goes once. 3 to 6 goes twice. 1 times 2 is 2 over 1 times 5 is 5. So that's positive 2 fifths. This one here, press pause and see if you can get it. That's 15 over 1. And 3 goes into 6 and 15. 3 into 6 goes twice. 3 into 15 goes 5 times. Negative times positive is negative. 1 times 5 is 5. 2 times 1 is 2. And write down the answer to this. Negative 3 quarters times 0. Well, what's anything times 0? Anything times 0 is 0, isn't it? 